So you see what I I do a lot of my work on graph paper. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved the uh, tabletop gaming and uh, desktop. Uh, here's a sort of a design prototype. Uh, always never had enough uh, lead figures. They're expensive. Uh, here's a isometric view of a castle I came up with. I wasn't satisfied with it. I drew that on canvas. It's kind of fun. Um, sort of a prototype of a location game solution for uh, asymmetrical population density. Um, anyway, that's an old demo. Here's another uh, canvas example uh, to emulate the graph paper tabletop gaming. Um, so for for this uh, 3JS demo that I wanted to do, I wanted to have a, a castle where you go upstairs in kind of a spiral pattern. In, so you can see it starts from the uh, northwest and you kind of spiral anti-clockwise. Um, here's some more design elements from it. You know, trying to figure out just by hand what the constraints are that I wanted to deal with in order to make a path up this castle and be able to randomize it, have it look a little interesting. Um, let's see, let me get to the demo. And so by AR, we have the, I have touch control, but I can um, look around this panorama using an accelerometer. It's not really AR. Um, I'm excited about the AR kit that's, that's uh, available in Safari now, but um, for this purpose, I kind of just made a cylinder with a panorama on it because I wanted to play with, uh, with the blocks. And so I've got a, uh, a castle here. There's a couple different views just for kind of debugging. Um, so I, I have two textures in here, so it's, it's rudimentary. It's not, um, it's not Quake or anything, but I wanted to really get control of the, uh, <clears throat> the drawing and the building and getting everything exactly where I want it. So I have like a world that's 15 by 15 squares. So the first thing I did was I made this grid on the floor of my space, and it's, um, you know, basically the one unit of the 3JS environment. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is make sure you control your camera. Um, if you just start doing, uh, you know, uh, pitch, yaw, uh, roll on it, you're going to start having it go cattywampus and pointing in weird directions. So the solution to that is to have, whoops, you have the camera's in two containers. The first container rotates flat, the second container tips up and down for the pitch, and then the, th the camera could roll. I used the camera roll with the AR. Um, for portrait, I didn't do the AR because uh, I don't know if it's this way in um, <coughs> Android browsers, but the uh, the angle of the accelerometer, right, when you're around 90 degrees, it wildly fluctuates. There's sort of a, uh, a formula that kind of eases it so that your arrow, of your vector is pointing, it does a smooth transition from pointing up to pointing down. Two of your axes flip, it's really, really crazy. So I just opted to have, for portrait mode, kind of a 2D view, even though it's still the 3D engine. You can see the, I have a, <clears throat> a light on my character there, and then just some ambient light. Um, <clears throat> and so when you look at the stairs, there's a contiguous path that goes, um, as you saw in those drawings. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to have it so that it wasn't just going around the outside of the space. I wanted it to kind of convolute, so there'd be random things, do different patterns and look a little more interesting. Um, Let's see, other things I've uh, come up with. 
Well, let's see, you can mark the location of your lights with a sphere. That's really handy just to see where the light's coming from because it's really puzzling. Um, you want to make sure that you, you know where 0, 0, 0 is in your XYZ universe. And if you get it right, everything is pretty much pixel perfect in three dimensions. It's, um, I'm not using anything really advanced. It's just a, a, regular, um, a regular shader. 3JS makes it really, really easy. Um, but taking control of your camera and your grid is super important, or it gets confusing really fast. Um, now, if you want to, say, have orbit around something, you'll need to uh, do some trigonometry for that. Um, let's see. That's pretty much the, uh, the demo. Um, are there any questions about uh, what, what I'm doing with this here? Um, the browser has the, um, I think it's part of the window object. I would have to look at my code specifically, but it's available to the browser. Um, and usually the, you might have a prompt to the user to allow location data. Um, I haven't looked at the new AR stuff. If you watched the, the iPhone 8, 10 demo of AR, it looked fantastic. But, you know, in the browser now, they're going to allow us to get the front-facing camera into the browser into 3JS. We will be able to do real AR. I wanted to have more of like a telepresence version of it than, you know, like in Pokemon where you're looking at your actual surroundings. Um, so in this case, it's the, uh, the conservatory over at uh, Lake Como. Um, let's see, any others? Um, just, I just Googled it and, you know, looked at a demo and, um, you know, typically it's going to be a cube that rotates yeah. and you play with textures and stuff, but I wanted to be able to move the camera and orbit the camera so I wouldn't, you know, so I could build a scene. Um, you know, my thing is I always want to have, I want to, I want to be in the game. I want a first person view. That was what I was working towards is what you see here. Um, and it's, I'm going to make a location game out of it, I think. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, maybe one or two more questions, if that's cool. Uh, how far is it that you could be doing the necessary modifications or something like that? And as a quick follow-up on that, you said red lens. There's some trigonometry you were doing as well. What other than that did you add to the equation there? Oh, um, the, the sine and the, the cosine function will allow you to uh, get an X and Y from a direction. Um, if you need to get a, a, an angle from a, a X and Y coordinate, use uh, A10 2, I think. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's just Wikipedia, 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 stack overflow, stack overflow, stack <laughs> overflow. Like all day, every day, that, that's... <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, like 10 years, but, um, you know, finally, the, <laughs> but, but yeah, the, finally the performance. This is a 6 plus, and it's really performant with a fairly big castle scene going on here. So I imagine the new phones are going to be just amazing. Well, if you saw the demo of the game they played uh, at Apple, it was uh, pretty <laughs> astonishing. I recommend checking that out. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's performant. So now we can do 3D. No, there's 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 um there's nine things in the basic path, the big grid. Um, so you'll see there's there's nine spiraling into the top. Um, and then each one of those is made up of nine, and then within that nine grid, there's sort of an eight grid where I build the steps and the crenellations of the battlements. Um, so those are all in JSON, um, which you know I, I I design it in graph paper, then I type it into JSON, and then I write a bunch of functions, and it's just it's all made to iterate and iterate all the time. So at some point, yes, but you divide it into bigger components. Yeah. Okay. Yep.
All right. Well, thank you very much.